How's it going everybody, Decisive TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. And today I kind of want to, I want to do a little bit of a story time kind of episode. Um, maybe not necessarily a story time episode, but I do want to go mining, uh, maybe cut down quite a few trees or something like that. Just, you know, get prepared. I am um, uh, for uh, future episodes. So I want to go mining because we need to upgrade uh, our armor and tools as you guys can tell I have not been focusing on like the fundamentals of Minecraft I've been more so exploring making random stuff like that thing over there uh, <laughs> and making some farms that's uh, kind of you know they're, they're not completely efficient but you know they, they work uh, I wanted to finish the house today but I thought I kind of I kind of want to talk to you guys just you know have a good old chat this video kind of chill out and um, kind of vibe with you guys so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the necessary wood uh, needed to finish this or at least I think might be necessary I don't know I don't know how big or like the design of this starter house is gonna be but uh, we do need to kind of upgrade from the shit shack so uh, and maybe make ourselves a, a shit mansion or something but we need a we need to go mining i um afk'd at our xp farm that we made a couple episodes ago and i repaired our fortune three pick completely so we should be able to mine quite a bit more um i also went went over to our enchanter uh, as you can tell i'm level 29 and I made um, a grindstone. So we were able to get rid of those crappy enchants, the, the efficiency four only enchants on a bunch of our tools. And that uh, allowed me to basically upgrade uh, each of these tools. So uh, it, it took a little bit of time, but not anything crazy. But now we have a bit better of a sword. It has sharpness three, knockback two, and sweeping edge three instead of sweeping edge three and bane of arthropods four, I think is what was on there. So yeah, something a little bit better. Not great, but you know, we'll, we'll get there eventually. So uh, <clears throat> I need to go ahead and go find a cave and I will be right back with you guys uh, whenever we're ready to mine. Oh, I need to get more food as well. Hi there, sheep. Interesting. Yeah, so I'll be right back with you guys whenever. Uh, I might just go adventure out. I don't really want to explore any of the caves around here because I feel like we've explored quite a bit of the cave systems around here, especially with the um, the stronghold being right there in the middle of uh, a cave system right underneath us. So that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and go find a new cave system probably elsewhere in our world. Uh, but I need to get another stack of carrots. Yes. Are we? We're almost out of carrots, huh? Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead. Should I? Actually, I think I should go the way towards the cafe, right? Because there's a, a jungle over there. Might be from some caves, but we also just have the cafe over there. So whenever we come back up to the surface, we can get some food if we need it. Possibly. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, run this way. And then I'll see what we can find. If I find anything interesting on my adventures, then I'll go ahead and get back with you guys. But uh, until then, I'm going to go ahead and find a cave and I'll be right back. So see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, so uh, I actually I had to get a bit of coal and I chopped up some wood so that uh, I could have torches. And uh, I also kind of found this. Let's make sure not to look at the Enderman because I don't want to repeat of the first episode. Uh, go watch that. It's within like the first 10 seconds of loading up a new world. So that was pretty fun. But um, yeah, so this looks pretty interesting. kind of want to. I don't want to go through here. Wish I had a better sword against undead mobs. I need to get a I need to get a smite sword. I think that would be very beneficial. Uh, honestly, I used to be a smite kind of guy or a uh, a sharpness kind of guy, but the more that I played Minecraft, the more that I realized there's a lot of fucking undead mobs, dude. There is a lot of undead mobs for sure. 
and um you know smite is good against undead mobs uh while sharpness is good against like creepers and players so you know given given takes i guess um Oh, I guess sharpness is also good against the Ender Dragon, uh, but you know the Ender Dragon is fairly easy to kill. To be honest, uh, you just mostly need a good power five bow, and you'll be okay. Um, I guess that goes for most things as well. But nope, 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 nope. Yay! So I need to get a smite. Four sword. Oh, yeah, see, there's just so many zombies and skeletons all the time. Oh my gosh. Nope. You're done. Uh, I should actually... Now that I'm thinking about it, I should probably grab quite a bit of iron as well. Probably grab some more coal while I'm at it. Um, but iron just so we can make some more uh, armor. Because obviously I only have gold boots and iron pants on. And that's not very safe. <laughs> uh, so well, uh, having fortune 3. Oh my gosh. It's just so much better. So much better. Able to get so much more iron. So much more coal. So much more lapis. Redstone. Everything. Literally one of the best enchants ever added to this game. However, it did make it a lot easier to get stuff. So that it kind of led to like... You know, Minecraft's quote-unquote demise. I don't really know. I think... I don't think Minecraft has had much of a demise. Um, you know, I like... I, I mentioned in the first episode a lot about, like, Notch. And, like, I wish he had more takes on the game still. Even though, like, he sold it to Microsoft. I wish they didn't cut him out completely. But, you know, what can he do? Um... But I think post 1.8 is whenever, or released 1.8 is whenever people really are like, dude, what is happening with Minecraft? But in my opinion, I think Minecraft has always kind of, kind of had the updates that they've had. It's just recently they've been doing a lot of big. I don't. Hmm, it's kind of, kind of difficult to explain. They, they've been doing like big updates that are small <laughs> so they've been doing like major releases and now they're kind of switching it up but they've been doing a lot of major releases that are you know a year apart and it, it just doesn't feel like that year was taken advantage of uh just by like the content that has been released i i know they can't do super big content updates every single year uh just because, you know, like, with the 1.18... Oh, hi. With 1.18, that was, like, a game-changing. That was, like, completely, fundamentally changing the game. Uh, and they can't they can't do that every single year, right? So it, it kind of set, like, an expectation, an unrealistic expectation at that for uh, the Minecraft community um, to ex expect updates like that every single year. But uh, I just... I don't know. I wish... I wish the updates nowadays had more, like, I don't know. They had more of a reason to be an update. I feel like the, uh, with the 1.20, there wasn't really a whole lot of reason to add, like, suspicious sand and that sort of stuff. Like, I don't know. I, I like we just got this world, and I've already explored like quite a bit. I feel like, but uh, not a whole lot, obviously. Um, but I feel like I've explored enough that I haven't even been able to find any of those ruined uh, or those trails or anything like that. Like I feel like they're pretty rare, and like the rewards that you get out of uh, utilizing the archaeology aspect of Minecraft just wasn't there. Like it just it, it's not that big of a reward for how much time you have to put into it and finding getting lucky enough to find the the trails so overall a lot of the updates to me have felt like they've been impactful to the game but in the wrong ways
uh, is, is kind of my take with uh, Minecraft updates currently. And I feel like a lot of people think that same way. I just, I feel like they, they, the Minecraft community doesn't express that. We, I feel like it's expressed in a way that we want more, but we want more reasonable updates. We want more reason behind the things that they're adding and not necessarily more content in the updates, right? We want... We want Mojang to change the fundamentals of other aspects of the game to make them fit a lot better or to have more purpose in the game instead of just being like this thing that they add in the update to add content to the update so people don't complain that the update's too small. Um, but at the same time, there always is the, the loud group that like, you know... Okay, there we go. Uh, that voices their their opinion in i want more content i want more blocks i want more more redstone components and that sort of stuff you know so it, it's a very hard balance and i feel like people need to understand that as well like game development is not an easy task by any means and minecraft being as big of a game as it is you got like there's multiple steps towards like getting things added into the game and i feel like it shouldn't be that hard i feel like it should not have to go through multiple multiple levels of management in order to add things into the game but obviously you know microsoft wants to make sure that the game isn't gonna freaking die like they're not gonna add stuff that people just don't like oh hi hi i'm at this uh you know what i'm gonna get in here and i'm gonna take some of this stuff sure Make sure I get the fully grown ones or try to. But I, I just I feel like the developers should have more freedom is what it feels like, because they've always been saying every Minecraft live uh, and with their update videos and everything. And on Twitter, some of the developers, it's like it, it it almost seems like Microsoft just has them in this grasp and they have little to no creative aspect except for like the directors of my minecraft which i feel like that shouldn't even exist i feel like directors should not exist in minecraft uh, but obviously having a team as big as they are they kind of need directors but at the same time i feel like it, it adds a level of like supremacy sort of oh what the heck hi what in the world cool i've never seen a mob spawn spawn like that um but i don't it almost adds like a level of supremacy to oh my god uh oh ow dodge and weave dodge and weave oh my god i had to focus so hard right there <clears throat> so like you know they oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god nope 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 you're done Back to what I was saying, it adds kind of this level of supremacy where developers have to go through the director to make sure that like their ideas are heard. Uh, well, whenever Minecraft was at, it's in my opinion, peak, and I feel like a lot of other people agree um, that Minecraft was in its peak back in uh, beta Minecraft days up until beta 1.8 was definitely the golden era of Minecraft. Uh, for like how Minecraft should feel because uh, you know updates were coming out more often there was a lot of a lot of thought put into the updates to make things better to add content that was reasonable that changed the game uh, to make it overall better uh, I feel like Notch put a lot of thought into the updates and people what people would want added into the game to make it a lot more fun um so and obviously that was just with uh notch you know a team of like 10 people right they had notch dinner bone uh jeb uh, like just like those people people mainly were like the developers of the game right so you add an extra 100 oh my god you add an extra 100 200 300 plus developers to the game it makes it a lot more complicated and I feel that they should 
shrink down their team. I'm not saying, like, I want people to get fired, of course. Like, you know, people make their livelihood off of uh, developing Minecraft. But I feel like that's pretty good experience to go and uh, develop, like, another game or something like that. Or work on another game, right? Uh, but obviously, a lot of people's dream development job is probably Minecraft. So, um, that it would definitely be a hard thing to do. But I feel like there should be, like, a shift in how the game is currently developed uh just to make it not as leveled uh, like multi-leveled but to make it more more of a, a linear path to adding things into the game um the heck did you guys hear that i feel like that was like an amethyst sort of sort of sound oh my god <laughs> no the bats what happened f uh but let me know what your guys's opinions are uh and what you think mojang oh diamond uh mojang could do to change um how updates are performed wait yeah how updates are performed currently to maybe make them better or make the or bring the community back i guess is another good term for that um i'm gonna eat a golden apple i have three should probably eat this too because it's gonna fall down and then this creeper is gonna blow up oh ow well luckily it didn't break any of the diamonds so ah uh, but yeah i just i want to hear you guys' opinions as well um Oh, hi. That's where you were. Ow. What the heck? Ouchie. Uh, and what what fundamental uh, stuff in Minecraft or what quality of life updates do you think that they could add into Minecraft to make it um, a lot... I kind of don't want to be out down here without a bucket of water. This kind of sucks. Should have gotten one whenever I had the chance. Also, I left the iron in that furnace, so we're going to have to go back up there eventually. I, I didn't even realize, like, I went on that ramble about Minecraft updates and Mojang and that sort of stuff, and I, I completely forgot about it. Well, that's not okay. I just wanted to go around here. Nope. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done, buddy. Oh, my God. What the hell? Do we... There's more diamonds. Uh, I should probably be grabbing iron. Um, now I'm thinking about it. Oh, cool. Should be grabbing a lot more iron. I'm finding a lot of diamonds. So, I mean, you know what? I, I'll take it. We're almost at a stack. What the heck? What the heck? I've been finding... Oh my gosh. Yes, give me all the diamonds. Okay, we're at exactly a stack. That's crazy. Um, not necessarily what I came down here for. I would like a bit more redstone. I've just been so distracted by going on my rambles that I've completely forgot what my main goal is. is to act up. It's to blow up and act like I don't know nobody. Oh, more diamond. Sir... Any redstone, however. I need to look at the map for uh, ore spawnage again. Because I feel like I'm not at the right level for the most amount of redstone. Oh, wait, yeah, I should grab iron, right? That's why I was... Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh! I don't know how I'm alive. Step back. Step back. <laughs> Step back. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stay there. Don't hit me. Okay. We're gonna eat a golden apple. I'm very much scared. I, I see you, baby zombie. Come here. Yep. That's right. Ow. Stop it. Oh my gosh. That zombie almost just killed me there. Oh. 
Oh, okay. We can have a little bit of breath. Eat another golden apple. I don't want to go out there with it, without it. Oh, I guess uh, another thing I should talk to you guys about. Hi there, Yami. Uh, is, are there any shows you all are watching currently? Either ongoing or that have finished that you're currently uh, binge watching? Because I've been trying to find a couple new shows and currently I'm watching Invincible. I mean, well, I, I guess they're going on a on a break until 2024 or so. I guess I'm not currently watching it, but, you know. Um, but yeah, currently I'm watching Invincible, and that show has to be the greatest show of all time. There's just no way. People say Attack... What the hell is happening? People say Attack on Titan? Mm-mm, mm-mm. I don't know about that now, buddy. I mean, to be honest, Attack on Titan is probably the greatest anime, but, like, 2D animated show that's, like, not anime... Invincible definitely has to take that cake. There's just no possible way any other show has come close to it. I love it so much. So good. Okay, I think I'm just gonna grab this right. Oh, hey, Axolotls. What the heck? Dude is doing the sidestep in Minecraft. What? <laughs> he doesn't even look like he's swimming. What is that? <laughs> Bro is doing the side step dance in Minecraft for real. What the heck? The side glide, if you would. Okay, well, uh, I feel like we've gotten a pretty good haul. My my inventory is about full. So, over a stack of diamonds, uh, what is that? Four and a half stacks of redstone, pretty good. A little bit of iron, quite a bit of lapis. Um, you know, yeah, that that's a pretty good haul. I'd say we didn't really have like a specific goal. We kind of just needed to get resources. So overall, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I do need to get back up to the surface. Oh, nope. What the heck? <laughs> okay, buddy. Uh, let's do. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut, and I will uh, be back with the guys whenever I get. Either to the furnace or to the surface. Maybe back to our base. I'm not too sure. Okay, please tell me. Oh my god, I do have a bed here. That's crazy. <laughs> what a savior. Okay. Well, oh. Fascination attempt. Okay, well, let's get back to base. Uh, that was a little intense, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda, kinda made my heart pump a little bit. Mm. Oh my gosh, that, that obsidian is so dark, it almost looked like oil. Like, uh, if you guys remember, like, the old, um, oh my gosh, what is it, Buildcraft mod pack, I think, or something like that. Uh, it had, like, the, the oil sprouts just randomly throughout the world. It's kinda what it reminded me of. This is the most convenient waterfall ever. <laughs> like, even though it kind of sucks to swim up, it's just, wow, nice. Okay, now that we're back, uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to make a couple more chests because I kind of want to be able to organize this stuff. Now, yeah, we'll just put that right there. So all of uh, the stuff that we got from the mining trip can go in here. I'd say that's pretty freaking good. Two or a stack and a half of diamonds, three and a half stacks of lapis, three and a half stacks of iron, uh, plus the, the iron that we smelted, and then six stack, just over six stacks of redstone. It's pretty freaking good. But yeah, so I need to do some organizing. Um, Go ahead and get some things situated but i think that's going to be it for this video if you all enjoyed remember to hit that like button down below thank you all so much for the support throughout the series next episode we're probably going to go ahead and get started on the starter house i might just chop up some wood in between episodes or something like that and yeah that's going to be it subscribe if you all are new here we're seeing so many new faces and i appreciate you all see you all in the next one have a good day bye bye